BK Wong. It's good. Really bossing up now, pushing foreigners round the town. Girl, just love when I'm around. I don't gotta make a sound. I can't hear a head of talk in the background at the lounge. I be up in VIP with my sneakers on the couch. My mama said that I'm a clown. I can't do this shit at home, but tonight I'm feeling grown. Only got one life to live. Just can't tell the how it is. It's more, more than what it is. I'ma be the biggest out, I'ma make this shit known I remember blowing speakers in my mother living room I was listening to me, Michael Jackson with the feet I've been practicing for weeks Like bitch look at me now, moonwalking in the streets Can't nobody flex like So I'm in my own uh, personal car. I'm doing this vlog today uh, with this car. So this is a 2015 Audi S3, both on car, uh, stage two tune, stage two trans tune. It's got a nice little noise to it. Muffler delete by my buddy Frank and Muffler Boss for looking out. This car's awesome, man. Dual clutch trans car, paddle shifters. I'm more of a daily driver, so I don't, it's not a manual or anything like that. It's all-wheel drive, it's good for Ohio. So basically, you know, the car's super smooth. Uh, it's lowered on springs, H&Rs. The car does have adaptive struts, so I didn't want to really change that, lose that feature. So I just put springs on it, some nice wheels on it, avant-garde, nice little stretch tire, nothing, nothing crazy. No seat belt, you know, being a little responsible. Um, so, car does a little bit of everything. Car's pretty quick. A lot of mid-range power, turbo's a little on the small side, but it builds a lot of torque down low, so very, very fun to drive. Click paddles. It takes off pretty good, you know what I mean? The car moves out. Catch, catch me from a low roll, it's very hard to beat. Beat a lot of cars with more power than this. How efficient the car is, extremely efficient. And uh, you know, it looks great as you guys already know. The Camel car, very known in Cleveland, helps me a lot out with promoting what I do. Gets the job done, you know what I'm saying? It's a good time, it's a lot of fun. So, uh, you know, check it out at car shows, check it out. Any questions you guys might have about this. About buying an S3 or maybe buying a Golf R, which is like the sister car, they're pretty much the same motor, same trans, same platform. It's a little lighter hatchback, it's a little bit more luxury, a little bit more refined, which I like personally. Got the car for about 28 G's, well not too crazy, with like 40K on it, not bad at all. Holding up value pretty well, a lot of cool little features the car has, the launch control as you guys just saw. So I enjoy it a lot, it's like one of my favorite cars, I'm a big Audi guy, you know. Had Beamers for a while, they got like Audi a little better, even though they have a real similar feeling of cars, but I think all-wheel drive is obviously Audi's calling car, you know, they do a really good job with the all-wheel drive stuff, so. Big panoramic roof, folds back, you know, a lot of little features that are pretty much standard in cars like this. Heated everything, uh, cool little, uh, little TV that goes up and down, you press the button, it's pretty cool. Make it go away, make it come back, little cool little like airplane looking vents, pretty cool. Digital uh, climate control, which is nice for 2015. It's pretty cool. Drive select mode. You can see, and even if you go into the menu here, you can actually get all the last stuff of the car that you might need, which is awesome. Radio navigation, Audi Connect, hook up to your phone to it, obviously, Bluetooth. Car has different driving modes, so that's pretty cool. We're driving on individual right now. Can have my own custom settings, which I like. Let's say, you know, I want to get more into a track setting put into a dynamic the car kind of wakes up a little bit so it stiffens the trans um, it stiffens the throttle response with a better tune and uh, stiffens the struts up you know stiffens the steering up also so it makes the car really 
a lot more sharper to take turns with. The cars are amazing around turns. Stock, they're amazing. Once you put lowering springs, you get a tune, become a lot more powerful. Really, really nice to auto cross car. Not really a straight line car, but it's it's quick. It does what it needs to do. So good all around car. Any questions about any stuff like this? Audi A3, S3s. You know, I know all about it. Shout out to my boy Tim at ECS, the blue 335 that we wrapped. You guys might know it. It's on my channel. He helps me a lot out with the stuff for this car, parts, good advice, good knowledge, good prices. So appreciate you, brother, as always. Everybody else has helped me out with the car. You know, winning vinyl works for the wrap, which we did, obviously. Brian with the detail. And everybody else, I just, you know, it's a part of it. Gets to drive it to go to Tay Takes to the shows for me because I have multiple cars. I'm only one person, so really grateful. If you guys have any questions at all regarding this car, driving experience, anything at all, the tune, any specifics, guys, you guys know how to reach me, man. Just let me know. All right, guys, thanks. going on everybody it's me and max winning got the uh combo s3 behind me so i have a little special kind of vlog today for you guys man well tonight is 10 o'clock on a thursday october in ohio so people ask me a lot about my one of my personal cars the audi uh gets around you know what i mean um so i wanted to vlog the car today but make it in a certain way to where i'm gonna interview myself all right so i'm gonna have you guys see me ask myself questions and then me answer the questions from a whole different different perspective. All right, guys, so bear with me on this. A lot of info, but I'm going to do my best to get it across best way I can, all right? So people wanted to know a lot about the Audi, so these are questions that I would ask myself if I didn't know me, you know what I mean? So let that sink in a little bit. So, so basically, um, I get asked, you know, how long have I had the car for? Car has gone through some chunk changes. Obviously, it's not stock. It's not my craziest car by no means, but it's tastefully gets the job done. It's meant to be my my winter car. All-wheel drive Audi is great in the snow. Things a tank. So basically, they asked me how long have you owned the Audi. So basically, I've had the car for about eight months. It hasn't been that long. You know what I mean? So I remember I was actually at the dealership buying this car on the phone with my boy Tim. Tim, you know what's up? I'm on the phone with Tim from ECS getting parts for the car before I even sign the paperwork for the car. So those that know me knows, you know, they know that I've done stuff like that before. I've had parts before I even bought the car that I know I really wanted. So he got his stuff. Next day I had a bunch of stuff. It was installing parts and, you know, I love the whole process of just putting the car together. So, you know what I mean? That's kind of how I came about. So my, my girl actually bought an A3 with my guidance, of course, because I like, I, you know, I tinted the car, so I liked the car, so I uh, I made her get an A3. I drove it around a little bit, I liked it, and then I went like a week later and bought an S3. So that's how that came about to be as far as me buying this particular car. It's a 2015 S3. Got the car for 28 grand with like 40,000 miles. CPO from Audi of Bedford. Shout out to Jeff and all the guys out there. Help me out all the time. I do work for them, so pretty natural for me to you know get the car from them. So it's been cool, you know, uh, that's how I got the car. So obviously, you know, the next question is what's done to the car, you know, how many mods are on the car, what kind of mods is what you do. Besides what you can see, it's obviously it's not stock. And then you hear it's not stock. So, uh, well, what mods are done? So uh, I have a long list of mods, you know what I'm saying? Like nothing really crazy. The car is pretty reliable. It's not changed that much to where it's something that I worry about driving. I drive it every day. I drive as much as I want. A lot of my teammates drive it, you know, winning team Ohio, they drive to shows in my behalf, whatever the case may be. So I have a little list of mods to do. So basically the car is, you know, FBO is full bolt on, meaning that all the parts to get the immediate power out of the car are already installed on the car. So I have uh, a bigger front mount intercooler. I have a uh, CTS turbo, by the way, I'm sorry. I have their downpipe, race downpipe with a race cat on it. I have their uh, bigger front mount intercooler. I have a APR carbon fiber intake, super nice. I have a bigger diverter valve which goes on the turbo. I have like a steel one instead of the, the stock plastic one which tends to leak when you turn the boost up or pressure. 
I have a full exhaust, so it's straight pipe that's loud. I have custom tips, quad tips, opposed to smaller single tips on the stock setup. Unitronic stage two, two. Plug up to the, to, the, to, the, to the OBD2 port in the car, play with the computer and you're good to go. I have the, the trans flash also, because this car is a dual clutch car, so that lets me raise the pressure in the clutches, give it more, more clamping force, which lets me make more torque. So the car runs really well, shifts lightning fast, a lot of cars can't handle it. Very torquey, the car makes very, very good power down low, which I love, it's, it's a really good time. Stop by the stoplight car, it really, really helps. And as far as that goes, and I have wheels, obviously, you guys can see, everybody can see that. I have Avangard wheels, very, very good company of mine, which I really like. I opted for the for, for the better forging, so they're, they're harder, it's like OEM strength for the Powell's in Ohio. I hit some nasty Powell's, like, your soul leaves your body Powell's, and I haven't had a single issue, so they've been great. Tim, also from ECS, I shop people out all the time, I believe in it. Help me out, give me a good deal. Uh, Continentals on them, uh, 235s I want to say, you know, a little stretch, tasteful. Looks good. H&R spacers on the rear and the front. Bigger in the rear, I got fenders rolled, so I have a nice little stance on the car. People really like it. I really like the way the car came out a lot. Interesting detail on the wheels is I actually wrapped the barrels with the same vinyl that's on the car, the camouflage, American camo it's called, red, white, and blue. We really like that, you know, I think of stuff like that when I'm like laying in bed at night, things like that, so. Got that, um, the car's lowered on uh, H&R springs, cause I didn't want to give up the struts, which are magnetic. So, you know, they change with the mode of the car, that's a really good feature, I didn't want to really want to give that up, so I didn't do coilovers. Sits good, I'm happy with the way it sits, doesn't rub, doesn't give me any issues. Car has a front lip, Car has side side blades, uh, side skirt extensions, car fiber wing, all the essential things I feel like car should have to give it that sleek look. Looks very tough coming down the street, looks very good. Path exhaust already. Uh, I have tip tail lights, tinted headlights, tinted tail lights. I do that, so of course I'm gonna do it to my car, show people what I can do. I have a full ceramic tin on this car. I have 20% all the way around with 35 on the windshield. Clean, really evens the car out, and I'm good in the summer, I'm good in the winter with all the protection it offers. I do the tint, so of course, why would not do that? Showcase the car a lot of people, so when people come to my shop, I show them the car, and it showcases a lot of stuff that we do. You know, the wrap is obvious, the tint, I talk more about it to the customers, and you know, they seem to really like it a lot, so. The wrap is a uh, printed wrap, Metro Restyling. My boy Zach hooks me up with it. I call him directly, I have my own guy, I call her. Quick shipping, never no issues. ECS also, never no shipping issues. I know there's a group on Facebook, like they hate ECS shipping. I never have that problem. I call my guy directly, takes care of it. So there's ways to do things, you know what I mean? So I have the wrap, it's a printed wrap on a 3M media, which is just white uh, vinyl. And then they print over that with this design here, with the camel design. And then it's laminated with clear laminate, so it gives it a gloss look, but it's actually another layer on top of the vinyl, so it gives it that extra protection. Really sleek, super nice. We actually had the vinyl coated, IGL coatings. Really big on that here with my detailer. Shout out to Brian here at Winning Auto Spot. We got that done. So we coated the car and we also waxed the car after with a special wax that they have for vinyls. This stuff, this thing cleans up easy. I can spit on it and all the dirt falls off of it. You know what I mean? I hit it with a little bit of water and it's good to go. It's fantastic. So that. Um, I have a, a RS3 style front, front uh, grill. I have a lit up emblem LED, the Audi sign, people really love it. It's eBay stuff, you know, I'm not going on eBay all the time, buy a lot of stuff from eBay. So, RSV front grill, when I first bought it, funny story, uh, I left the badge on the car. So I said RS3 on it. So, people thought I bought an RS3. You know what I mean? But I don't lie about that. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was like telling people, like, nah, it's just an S3, you know, it's not an RS3. RS3s don't, don't come out till 17, 18. So, that body style is different, front end, different, different lights. If you know, you know. If you don't, I understand why you would think, because it's all done up, you know, definitely. But uh, I was at a show uh, in Port Face Off, and this kid came up to me, like, I love your RS3. And I felt bad, but I took the badge off in front of him. Like, it's like clip on badge, took it off, and the kid looked at me, and like his face dropped, he was heartbroken, he just walked away. He didn't, you know, he didn't say nothing to me. I think I heard his feelings, you know, but I was trying to be honest, I didn't want to lie to him. So I did the right thing, I felt like, you know what I mean? But it was a bit of a, rough moment so I definitely threw the badge out that day I didn't want to hurt no more feelings you know hurt people so that's pretty much sums up what's I'm done to the car on the exterior under the hood uh the interior is really simple really stock 
I have a, a, a custom shift knob from my boy, um, um, Euro Impulse. Hassan and Mo, what's going on? He went on Atlanta, you know, follow his dreams with that, but they make really good stuff. Look them up if you guys ever need anything like that. Let me know anything I can do to help you guys replicate this car or anything German or any parts. I've been through a lot, I know a lot about this stuff, you know what I mean? So that sums up what I've done to the car really per se. You can see that's, you know, it performs well. Yeah, it has good power. It makes about 400 foot pounds to the wheels. As far as, well, I'm sorry, as far as the question would be, Max, how fast does the car go? How much power does it make? How fast have you had it up to? People ask me that. Like, I'm on the freeway, like, doing 200 miles an hour, I don't get that. But some people that aren't, you know, so much into cars will ask, I'll ask you, how fast have you got it up to? You know, I don't see the point in that question, but I get asked that a lot at the shop, you know, customers, whatever have you. So, as far as power wise, puts down about 400 uh, foot pounds to the wheels. So, it's more torquey than horsepower. It has about 350 wheel horsepower. So, you know, it's good for like a stock turbo car, really minimal bolt-on car, it moves out pretty good. Spank a lot of cars that, you know, have some hopes and dreams, you know. Sorry, whoever, you know, whoever's out there, whoever I beat. I got beat too though, you know what I'm saying, so it's all good. So that's that, so it moves good, like second gear is really, really nice, all-wheel driver really, really digs down, squats good. Uh, my buddy ran it at Fat Man's Invasion, ran like a 12-2, just first time, just brake torqued it. Didn't even use the factory launch control, which we have, which we kind of figured out that ain't not easy. You know, at first, I don't, I don't like being on my car, it gives me anxiety. My boy Brian, though, doesn't care. It's not his car. You know what I'm saying? So he's my guy, like, all right, man, I'll let you, I'll let you hurt her a little bit. You know what I mean? Rubber the right way. So we have a bit on that, it's pretty badass. Spun the tires a little bit, took off like a jet, so it's pretty cool. So I would imagine using that system, we would have it even a lower quarter mile time, maybe 12 flat, maybe. Touching 11, maybe ambitious, but hey, you know, food for thought. So maybe I might go out before the year's over. It's October now. We have about a, maybe about a month left to maybe go down the track with that setup and see what it does. Not that important to me. You know what I mean? I like to have fast stuff. I like to enjoy my cars on the street. I believe in a true street car. And I like my cars to look good and, you know, promote what I do, help others, you know, achieve their visions with their cars. That's what I'm here for. So the Audi does that. Um, the last question would be, People's reactions, I feel like that's a very important aspect of the car as far as conversations, making friends. I make a lot of customers obviously off this car. I make a lot of friends, which is more important to me. So it's like, you know, the car is camel wrapped, looks good, sounds sounds crazy. So stop lights of a conversation, thumbs up, roll, roll down the window. Where'd you get that paint job from? So, hey, Max, how are people's reactions to the car when they see it? Well, definitely the car is definitely, you know, has a, has its own look, obviously. Um, people get a lot of, I get a lot of good reactions from it, a lot of positive reactions, all positive reactions, to be honest with you. The car looks good in my opinion, it's to my taste, but people really like it, something different. I like camo a lot, everybody knows I have camo on all my cars, kind of make them all kind of coincide together, make it all kind of go together. So yeah, I mean, like every, you know, every stoplight, you know, I get, roll the window down, you know, I love a nice car. I get gas stations, I get conversations, I make friends, I give out business cards, which is fantastic. It does the work for me, so to speak. People ask me to take pictures with their kids, you know, can their kids take pictures with the car? I love that, you know what I'm saying? I'm a father, I love that, absolutely. The car's loud, the car stands right, so people really like it. Like, even car people love it, they love the way the car's put together, you know what I mean? I love it when it comes together myself. When I got first buy a car, then I'm buying all the parts and I'm, I'm hoping it comes together the right way. Usually I'm, you know, I'm pretty okay at it. I've been through some stuff, I've been through some cars, so I'm pretty experienced. So yeah, I mean, people really like it. It's known around here, you know what I mean? It's known in the Cleveland area for sure. Camo Audi is known. People like the light up grill, people like, uh, you know, the front end, people like the way the car sits. The way the car sounds, it's pretty loud, especially if I give it some gas, it's pretty loud. So people like it, I make friends off of it. And uh, you know, that's what matters. So. So we're just gonna keep on rolling. So I'm gonna be doing this with some other cars, my own cars, I have a couple cars, so you know what I mean? All right guys, well I hope you guys liked the interview. Um, there'll be accompanying you know, photos for the car and uh, any question you guys might have, ask away, comment below, hit the like button, sub if you haven't already, you know, I really appreciate it. Small guy, you know what I mean? Just trying to make it happen, make the world a better place. All right, guys, I really appreciate it. Anything you guys need, you know where to find me. All right, stay winning.